This is Daria Shabbat with CorporateProfile.com reporting on the news for Thursday, August 23rd, 2012. The Fed is sending a strong signal that it may take new steps to strengthen the weakening U.S. economy. Don't you just love how the financial world phrases things sometimes and sends the markets into a tailspin? A new round of bond buying, also known as quantitative easing, is one of the number one options, apparently. Bernanke has some tough political pressures to deal with. On the right, we have the Democrats asking him to take bold steps to boost economic growth, and on the left, we have the Republicans wishing for cautious decision-making, pointing out the risk of inflation and a weaker dollar. The Fed's next meeting will take place September 12th and 13th, the likely dates when we will find out if and how a new bond-buying program could get into motion. And Bernanke promised he would not let political pressures get in the way of his decision-making. Let's hope so, Mr. Bernanke, let's hope so. And another one bites the dust of greed and corruption. Tycoon Asil Nadir is going to jail for a total of 10 years for stealing $46 million from his own company 20 years ago. The 71-year-old built PPI, the Polypec International Textile Empire, that expanded into the food and leisure and electronics industries under Nadir's ownership, growing into a business empire with more than 200 subsidiaries worldwide in the 80s and was one of the most successful FTSE 100 companies traded on the stock market. In the 90s, it collapsed after fraud prosecutors knocked on PPI's door. Thousands of British investors lost money over the company's collapse, while Mr. Nadir fled to London to live as a fugitive in Cyprus to avoid prosecution. In 2010, he returned to stand trial for his bad deeds and has now officially been found guilty of 10 counts of theft. Left. The morale of the story, don't be greedy, you will go to jail, not always, but sometimes. Or if you absolutely can't help being greedy, then don't get caught. Oh, Harry, Harry, what have you done? Like any other curious spectator out there, I also ventured into the deep blue seas of the internet to look at your naked pictures. Well, 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 what can I say? But more importantly, what will the Queen say when you get on page three of the British tabloid The Sun? You know, this kind of juicy story is extremely hard to resist for us journalists, but it seems you may be in luck, as the Leviathan Inquiry may have stifled the British press's urgent desire to put your naked bum on display nationwide. Some critics believe the photos may undermine Prince Harry's work in the military and charity work. Yeah, I don't think so. First of all, you can see how strong and masculine he is, and that's always good to have in the army. And second of all, he could use this perfect new slogan for his charity work. If you want to see me naked again, call 1-800-blah-blah-blah to make your donations. Have a great day, everyone. I'm Daria Shabbat with CorporateProfile.com, reporting directly from Wall Street. Thank you for watching, and please tune in again for more hot financial and world news.